Today we will talk about reactivity comparison of benzyl, allyl, alkyl, vinyl and aryl right based on whatever we have studied in throughout the chapter haloalkanes and haloranes right and then we will see how to distinguish between aryl halides and alkyl halides using silver nitrate test right so let's quickly see we have studied this in the previous lecture also the reactivity of aryl halides right and we know that aryl halides are less reactive compared to alkyl halides right because if you look at this aryl halide you have a lone pair of electron on the halogen atom now this lone pair of electron will enter into conjugation with the benzene ring of this alkyl halide thereby developing a partial double bond character between carbon and halogen like this here like this you have a partial double bond character between this carbon and halogen right and we know that double bond double bonds are stronger compared to single bonds right so that is why it is difficult to break this partial double bond right and release this halogen atom right for nucleophilic substitution to take place to take place that is why aryl halides are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution as compared to alkyl halides whereas in health alkyl halides if you compare if this is your alkyl halide this cx bond is purely single bond and we know that single bonds are more reactive because they can be easily broken whereas double bonds are less reactive because we you need more energy in order to break those reactions right so normally that much energy should be available in the chemical reaction right so aryl halides are less reactive towards your nucleophilic substitution right because of this partial double bond character that has developed due to delocalization of this lone pair of electron which is on the halogen atom with this benzene ring right so that is why these are less reactive compared to your alkyl halides and based on this only we'll be going through the silver nitrate test we'll do that in 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 after just looking at these comparisons now if we talk about vinyl halide right same is the situation with vinyl halide vinyl halide is also less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution because if you look at this vinyl halide you have the double bond here right basically this is this double bond is present at your alpha carbon atom right so in here also the double bond is present at this carbon which is your alpha carbon in both the cases double bond is present at the alpha carbon now you, when you have unsaturation at the alpha carbon these halides are less reactive yes, you can remember it in that way also if you look at this you have a halogen atom here right which is connected this is a vinyl system when halogen atom is directly connected to the doubly bonded carbon atom this is your vinyl system right this is your vinyl halide and vinyl halides are also less reactive let's see why now you can see that in this halogen atom in this halogen atom you have a lone pair of electron which will enter into conjugation with this double bond right in this this lone pair of electron can move right now developing this partial positive or partial double bond character between c and x you can see this when it will move right when it will move you will get a double bond between this carbon and your halogen atom due to this lone pair of electron right so this has also developed a partial double bond character same as aryl halides so alkyl halide these vinyl halides are also less reactive compared to alkyl halides so now both aryl and vinyl halides are less reactive because of the partial double bond character right and this kind of situation is seen where you have unsaturation that means double bond or triple bond at your alpha carbon atom this is known as alpha unsaturation right unsaturation at alpha carbon atom now looking now look coming to the benzyl carbocation and your allyl free radical these are more reactive 
like towards nucleophilic substitution. Benzyl carbocation is most reactive towards nucleophilic substitution. This is your benzyl system X. When it will lose this X, right, it will develop this. Right? Now this is like this is your this is your second carbon this is your beta carbon right and this is your alpha carbon where your halide ion is directly attached to carbon atom this is your alpha carbon atom right and this is your beta carbon atom right this is your alpha this is your beta carbon atom this is your alpha carbon atom so here you have unsaturation at beta carbon here you have unsaturation at alpha carbon here you have unsaturation at beta carbon unsaturation at beta carbon in your benzyl system right so if it when it will lose this halide ion forming this benzyl carbocation right this is your benzyl carbocation let's see how this will make nucleophilic substitution easier if you look at this these resonating structures these are resonating structures for benzyl carbocation right you can see this electron will enter into delocalization right it's it will make this double bond now this electron is moving and we have one two three four five resonating structures right that will contribute towards stability of this benzyl carbocation right so due to more resonating structures benzyl carbocation is more stable this carbocation is more stable this carbocation is more stable right which can now easily be attacked by nucleophiles right and you can see you have a positive charge here positive charge here positive here positive here right and these sites are are sites of low electron density positive sites right that can easily be attacked by your nucleophiles right which are nucleus loving that is they love these positive sites so these sites can be easily attacked and how these sites positive sites are developed due to these resonating structures right you have this benzene ring right due to which delocalization will take place right and everything that we have studied earlier related to the resonance structures of benzene right so we have more resonating structures that add to the stability of benzyl carbocation so you have this benzyl carbocation and your x minus now this benzyl carbocation since this is stable in solution so it can easily react with your nucleophiles right like this nucleophiles that is why benzyl system is most reactive now coming to your allyl system allyl system is where you have this kind of a system right where you have this double bond then your single bond right and with the single bond you have this methyl radical right if uh, suppose this is this is your aryl halide right this is the aryl halide now if it will try to undergo nucleophilic substitution reaction right it will form aryl free radical right this is your aryl free, free radical now let's see how this will promote nucleophilic substitution reaction this aryl free free radical right this allyl radical you can see that we know that carbon is tetrahedral right just understand that carbon is tetrahedral right so this carbon it has three if you look at this this is hydrogen right here you have c right here you have a double bond right now you have if you look at this diagram this is the orbital diagram of allyl system right so now this when this bond will break when this bond will break you will have a pi a p orbital right p orbital Right? and here also you have a p orbital on the third carbonate right due to which this double we have a this we have this double bond right 
now this p orbital and this p orbital and this p orbital the electron can flow the, these p orbitals are in same plane right we know that when the p orbitals are in same plane the electrons can be easily delocalized and whenever we have delocalized pi electrons right these are electrons of the pi bond right this electron you can see this electron of the free radical right you can see this see it over here this electron of the free radical can move freely between these three pi p orbitals right so this is your delocalized pi electron system right the one that we have studied in benzene so this delocalized pi electron system will add to the stability of this allyl free radical right that is why allyl halides are more reactive right because this allyl radical is stabilized due to due to this due, due to this delocalized pi electron system right pi electrons can move between these three p orbitals which are in the same plane right for delocalization if you remember the condition is that these p orbitals should be in the same plane since these p orbitals are in the same plane so electrons can easily move in between these that adds to the stability right this movement of pi electrons will make this allyl free radical more stable now since it is more stable so it can easily be attacked by nucleophiles right that is why nucleophilic substitution is easier in this allyl system compared to this aryl and vinyl right so if we compare the stability allyl uh, benzyl is most reactive right you have if you want to compare it you have benzyl as most reactive right we have discussed this then comes allyl then comes alkyl then comes aryl then comes your vinyl right oh uh, i'm sorry let's it's in the reactivity order vinyl comes first then comes your aryl right in aryl this is least reactive why because in this the entire molecule is stabilized right this entire molecule is stabilized due to the resonance right so this is least reactive aryl system so it is important to understand this this react reactivity comparison of various halides it is it, this is very important and you get many questions and and competitions based on this reactivity order right and just understand what makes these uh, these uh, radicals and carbocations stable right now silver mirror test how can we distinguish now we have studied the reactivity comparison of alkyl halides and aryl halides and we know that these aryl halides are less reactive than alkyl halides right because in alkyl halides we have no double bond character this is single bond which can easily be broken and it will undergo reactions easily whereas this is not so with aryl halides because it has a partial double bond character which is difficult to break now there is silver mirror test sorry silver nitrate test silver nitrate test right to distinguish between haloalkanes and haloarenes right so if you have a if you get a question to to distinguish between the two a haloalkane and uh, any haloarene you can use this right you can go through this you can just mention this test silver nitrate test in which you take alkyl halide alkyl halide or aryl halide right then you will warm it with alcoholic or aqueous potassium hydroxide right then you will add you will warm it with first you will warm it with alcoholic koh right then you will cool it right after that you will add dilute nitric acid to the cold solution right to the solution which is now cooled right followed by adding silver nitrate when you add silver nitrate right in one case if you see formation of precipitate in one case you will see formation of 
precipitate in the second case no precipitate right so if we just apply this knowledge in which now this precipitate will get formed if this is an alkyl halide right this halide will will ionize right and react with silver ion that will come from silver nitrate to form silver halide right the precipitate that i'm talking about is of silver halide right since we know that aryl halides are less reactive right you need this halide right from this aryl halide or your haloalkane right alkyl halide alkyl halide you, you will get this x halide from alkyl halide or aryl halide now since we said that this has a double bond character it is difficult to break right since it is difficult to break you will not get halide ion in case of aryl halides so no precipitate like no precipitate in case of aryl halide right and if you get a precipitate that means it's a alkyl halide right and remember this entire procedure so react so the way to distinguish is that with silver nitrate test with silver nitrate in in silver nitrate test i'm sorry you will get precipitate in case of alkyl halides whereas you will not get precipitate in case of aryl halides because of reactivity difference in aryl halides and in uh, alkyl halides and aryl halides right and this bond is stronger due to partial double bond character in aryl halide since this molecule is stable as a whole so you will not get halide ion that can combine with silver ions to give you a precipitate of silver halide right whereas this bond is single bond in case of alkyl halides so this bond can be broken and still these halide ion would be released that will combine with silver ion from silver nitrate to give you a precipitate of silver halide right in case of alkyl halide i hope this is clear thanks